So, let's start to discuss the um, factors in transgender youth and transgender children and what's involved. The majority of transgender children um, socially transition. Um, very few of them get medical intervention, with the exception of puberty blockers, which are given to children only when they're old enough, just before puberty. And as I'll explain, there is there has been some controversy brought up recently over this. But as I'll explain um, in another video after this one, that's more to do with um, what people feel is the proper roadway to transition, which may not be the case entirely. But first, let's go with this. So. Um, Princeton University did an eight-year study, and it is not the largest, but it is one of the most comprehensive of transgender children who transition socially into the gender they identified with. Out of the whole study, which includes 317 children from all over the United States and some from Canada even, it found that only 2.5% regretted or did not want to go through as the gender they socially transitioned to for the rest of their life. Those children stopped socially transitioning and went back to the gender they were originally assigned. The other 97.5%, the whopping majority, continued to identify in the gender they socially transitioned to and went on to medically transition later on. Um, or some of them did, at least. The study went from 2013 till 2021 and was published somewhere earlier this year. Now, there are important caveats to this. Um, nearly two-thirds of the study were from white affluent households that got support for transitioning. So some of these numbers may be off as we may be witnessing people who are unsupported, not transitioning, um, in which case it could be a completely different scenario and that two and a half could be even smaller. Um, the other thing is two thirds of this study approximately were trans men or trans girls and one third was trans men. As we know, as things have become more and more accepted, there's been a real uptick as well of trans boys showing up in clinics seeking gender affirming care. So again, those numbers may have been altered had the study been done now. That being said, even with these like adjustments, it shows that the vast majority of people know the gender long before five, and they are very much set and decided upon it. Whether that gender is male, female, non-binary, or fluid in some way, is all another discussion, but they are certain of that identity. So there has been some controversy over the puberty blockers, but that's for another video, as I will explain, what's being said and what's being touted, I believe, is being supported as action, less to do with trans people and more to do with using us as a way to um, deny contraceptives and birth controls to young teenage girls who are going to be sexually active one way or the other. Um, but yeah, it, it has to do more with that than the other. Um, and I'll explain in the video as well as why I don't think the controversy is as much, um, the problem isn't as much as with the puberty blockers in as much as like how they're used and how we view like the prescription of HRT to those trans individuals which do medically transition. Alright then, you're allowed, you're a father. Talk to you soon.